has that. When that falls off a hundred times. So this production is the culmination of a course that uh, the whole cast and some of the designers have been taking together. As you can imagine, Princeton students are very busy. Uh, so those four hours, we are always together. And that time has been invaluable um, for putting the show together. Sondheim's writing is very detailed and precise and beautiful and deep. You have people running on, grabbing a prop, running out, slamming a door, and that's been one of the really fun challenges of putting it together. Well, one of the reasons that Into the Woods is such a great show for Princeton is that there's this breadth of 18 plus fabulous characters that are really juicy roles for a lot of students. Um, one of the roles is the narrator, who in the original Broadway production was played by a 60 plus year old actor. We wanted to reinvent the narrator. So Katrin, a freshman, is playing the narrator. She's embodying it as a kind of 14 year old nerdy bookworm. When the wedding with the prince was celebrated, Lucinda and Florinda attended. We held our auditions in September and we had a fabulous turnout. There are giants in the sky. There are big, tall, terrible. Awesome, scary, wonderful giants in the sky. Cool. Thanks. We had a freshman uh, gentleman who came in and on his audition form, we asked if people were interested in particular roles. And he was the only person who wrote Milky White the cow. You know, at that point I wasn't sure if Milky White was going to be played by an actor. In the original production it was played by a puppet and he turned on some electronic kind of pop music on his phone and sort of like rolled his shoulders back and did really a fabulous improvisation dance. Uh, so he landed that role, no problem. No less than five pounds. Boo! The beautiful thing about this show is it's delightful and comic and funny. And then it asks the audience to consider really the dark night of the soul. Maybe I shouldn't have stolen from the giant. Maybe I shouldn't have strayed from the path. Maybe I shouldn't have attended the ball. In the second act, you see three characters die very quickly, back to back. You see a group of refugees running away to another kingdom. You see natural disaster, you see earthquakes, you see the forest being ripped apart. And we get to see these young college students confront that like with us and for us as our proxies. There are two professional designers working on the show. Reed Thompson designed the set and Miu Gubernik designed the costumes. And they were able to come to campus early on in our class and share all their design work with the students, which I think really kicked off our process in an exciting way. Well, we wanted to make a fresh production. So our design really updates some of the clothing. Our design avoids trees. In the first act, we're in a more comfortable fantastical, colorful place. And in act two, that's really stripped away. And we go from a theatrical world to a more raw, real, naked, scary, dark place. We play with a lot of shadows. And so we theatricalize a lot of the magical moments in either rear shadow play or frontal. So we have a combination of roving lights on the ground and flashlights and all different kinds of cutouts. We have a special effect in this act two. These big uh, bookcases suddenly dump hundreds of books. They, they tilt over and make a pretty horrifying sound. The first time we did that with the students, you know, there was genuine fear and adrenaline uh, in the room. And that was, that was really gratifying to see how the design was inspiring the actors and uh, really turning them on to the story and, and the experience.
I mean, one of the giants in the field of Sondheim study is Stacey Wolf, who founded the Music Theater Certificate here. And this is really the kickoff production of that new program. And so we thought it would be delicious if Stacy would take on the role of the giant herself. We had a fabulous recording session with Stacy and Hillel, our sound designer, and she just is chewing the scenery. She's a fabulous actor. Oh, no lad killed my husband. There is no lad here! We haven't seen him. I want the lad who climbed the beanstalk. We'll get him for you right away! Don't move! You know, theater, I was saying to the cast, is this miracle. Someone's bound to be sick or hurt or, you know, on a late train. When, when everyone is healthy and in the room and doing the show, I think of that as a miracle, to have, you know, 30 collaborators making a big musical like this happen. I mean, I think the beautiful thing about making theater and sharing theater is coming together um, in a room and breathing the same air and listening to stories and reconnecting with our shared humanity. Into the woods and out of the woods And happy ever after, I wish Into the woods to get the thing that makes it worth the journey Into the woods 